Eyewitness News 4. It's been nearly three years since working from home became normal for millions of Americans. That includes thousands of state workers here in New Mexico who could soon be forced to return to the office full time. The state personnel office sent a message to state workers last week announcing plans to reverse its telework policy starting in January. And wouldn't you know, a lot of government workers are not too happy about physically having to go back to work. Griffin Rushton spoke to union leaders who say this move could cause hundreds hundreds of people to walk off the job. We don't agree with this at all, and, and our members are very upset. The days of state employees working from home could be numbered. Union leaders representing more than 2,000 state workers received this letter from State Personnel Director Teresa Padilla last week, revealing the state's plan to get rid of its telework policy in January. Our position is that this policy exists. It was bargained into existence. Therefore, it has to be bargained out of existence if it's going to disappear. And frankly, we don't think it should go away. Padilla says only 38% of state workers are utilizing telework options. And in a statement to KOB4, said it's critical the state government is consistently available and responsive to constituents. Earlier this year, House Republican leaders blamed remote workers for poor service at several state departments. Union reps are firing back. That's not the problem. The problem is that there are not enough people, not enough workers to do all the work, period. The state personnel office confirmed there are more than 5,000 open positions across all state departments, a nearly 24% vacancy rate. Union leaders say removing telework options will only drive away new workers. This is part of what workers expect in the new working environment. Uh, and when they can't get it, they can go elsewhere. Union leaders say they've also heard from hundreds of current employees who are willing to quit over this, especially ones who could be forced to commute from Albuquerque once again. They have realized, you know, in terms of work-life balance, their life is more important than spending two hours commuting every day. Union reps agree teleworking is not right for every position, but they believe taking it away from everyone will cause more harm in the long run. Just like the administration states, we also want a robust and effective state government. We just don't think this is the path to achieve that when employees have other options elsewhere and will entertain them if needed. Griffin Rushton, KOB4.